Hey everyone, so today we will see how do we make a POST request to a REST API using the Python's request library. Alright, so you can see I have a collection where we have different method calls to a REST API and basically this REST API fetches some users, create users, update users and you know like overall it manages users data right. So we already have seen that how can we make a GET call. Now we'll see how do we make a POST call. So just an overview of what a POST call is. So a POST method call is basically a convention where we want to create a resource, right? So if you see to get users detail, we have the same endpoint as we have for the POST like uh, POST users detail, right? But the thing is the the problem, the difference is its method. If we say set the method as get and send the request, we will get the response like okay these are the details of users but if i just use the same endpoint and post and use a post call right let's just use some post call and like write some name it okay and all right let's just send this particular request and see if we are able to create the user right so same endpoint with different method call is creating the user right so this is what post call is using the post we make a create request to a api okay so this is our request which uh, and like this is our request and this is our response 201 created and this is our json response saying okay this is the id which we just created and rest details are the same which we just passed okay so we will see uh, how do we make the same thing and how do we make the same call using python's request library all right let's go back to our coding editor and create a file uh, just name it like post.py you can name it post.py the first thing to do is uh, is it created yeah it's great the first thing to do is that you know import our libraries import request import config config is the file where we have pre configurations already set up for our API you can see this uh now what we need to do is we need to know the url right again the url is config.users and if we just print the value of the url and run this code it will say this is our url all right now what we need to do is we need to make a post call and what are the different details which this post call you know accepts if you see our postman these are name gender email and status right so let's just get it as an input okay so let's say name as an input enter the name uh, the email is something like input and then enter the email then you can have status saying input enter the status and then you can have something like gender which is like input all right it's input enter the gender this way we can get input from a user in the in our command line all right uh, we'll just print these values uh, or what we can do is if you notice this is we are sending the details in json form so how do we do it here so what we can do is there is something called dictionary in python right and that's some a similarity to json okay so we'll create our data and this is our data and what we can do is data name or better we, we, we could have just created it here but let's just not do it now uh, it's name data email is equal to email and then data status all right we have status equal to status and then you have the last thing called data gender which is the gender and okay one thing you you don't need to follow the same ordering right you can just write the name at the last and it will behave the same right okay so it's not a problem of any like ordering problem okay if you are sending it in different order let's just see if we are able to get our value so data and let's just run this code so let me enter the name as John enter the email as john at sample.com we should have added a space after this prompt but okay we will do we will do it again active and gender as me
okay we, we were getting some error saying okay the list indices must be integers or slices what would oh okay we define it as a list right anyway we can just do it again let's just add a space over here and let's just run it again we should get our output let's just go john john at sample.com status as active and gender as me see we are getting our details right name john email is what a, the email we fed status and gender now what we need to make do is we need to make a post call so how do we do it let's define it as r is equal to request dot post right this is a as simple as this if you notice last time we when we made a get request it's simple request dot get and to make a post you need to say request or post to the url right so we have our url but one more thing we need to send so we need to send the data right as json okay so let's just try to send it so there is a uh, you know a parameter in in the post method which is called data and we should send the data here right this is the parameter name and this is the variable name which we have set which we need to send and let's just see are we getting our response or not okay let's send it uh okay we need to enter the name john at so active and mail all right okay we, we we got the response of 401 this definitely means that there is some error right we should definitely have got 201 but we, we haven't got this then why so so if you remember we have something called access token this is a verifier or an authorization that you are a valid person to use this api so we haven't added this access token as a header in our request so how do we do it so to do this what we need to do is we need to define our headers all right uh, for a get call this api does not require any header for for a post call it does so what we can do is there is something called authorization you have you need to send the authorization header and the value should be bearer plus the access token all right so where do you get the access token from we have already set up in our this configuration uh it's access token right we need to call the access token method and what we need to say is plus uh, config dot access underscore token all right <coughs> excuse me for that right uh what we need to do is we need to send it as a header so we have something called headers as a like it's again a key value pair so in like for this method we have we have this argument uh in headers we will set this headers so this is the parameter with this method accepts this is the parameter with this method accepts and these are the values which we are sending and let's just see uh, are we able to you know make this request again uh, I might think I need to just export this value again so I will just do it uh, I need to say export this and the value should be this. playing from Rito genie 62 8 rate. right this should be our value and let's export it and let's just run our program now I think we have saved it yes we have let's run it again uh, let me just enter the name okay let me, let me just clear the screen and now do it again let me enter the name right again John this time John should be uh, created let's see are we able to do it a status as active as it is male okay we have got a, a value okay it's header okay it's header not headers right let's just run it again oh we are fumbling but we surely will be able to make this post call all right active and then we should be male oh all right oh we are mistaken here headers because i think that's headers but let's just, let's just see are we able to add it okay the method is headers only okay no worries we will say headers and we'll make this post call again. and let's just say john this time john should be created status is active as it is male we have got the response at 201 so finally we have created this user 
uh, we have got this response but yeah one thing we need to do is we need to check this response to get the id right how do we do it you remember this something called r.json to fetch the response which you have got getting from our api right so you see r.json and let's just write again uh, let's just enter some random name abc abc at sample.com status as inactive uh, i think i have entered the wrong status so we should get some error but let's see what it is uh yeah let's just enter the name okay we have got that okay status message cannot be empty because this is an invalid value for this api uh, let's just try it again abc at sample.com uh, in active and then it's we are getting the response right uh what's the id of it 192584 right we'll just copy it and let's just see are we able to get this in our responses so we have an endpoint called single user where we just paste our user id and if we hit enter so you can see our user is created successfully that's the same response which we have got here right so this is how we make a post call so few things to notice here is this is like they just for the demo i just created this code but the few main thing to notice is if you want to send a header you need to create a dictionary of it and send it in the you know parameter named has a header if you need to send a data right the data which is generally sent in in the body uh, whenever you make a post call you need to say like create a dictionary of it and then send it in data variable or a data parameter of this post method once you are set up with this make a post call and right away you will get your response right so yep this is how we make a post call and next time what we'll do is we'll just try to update a user using the put method which we already have created in the postman collection but we'll see how do we do it using our request library all right we'll see you the next time